Okay, so a hypothetical question that I'm sure many of you have already heard. Would you trade five minutes of the most severe, agonizing pain for five minutes of the most blissful, euphoric pleasure that can be experienced by a human being? This is one of the questions that David Benatar poses to highlight one of the blatant asymmetries that exist between pleasure and pain. So most people who answer the question honestly won't have to give it much thought at all before coming to a, a conclusive, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on that. Uh, but I think this is even more of a raw deal than most people realize it to be, just based on the way our brains are programmed. And I figured I'd make a silly little video dissecting it further and just kind of going into why I think that is. So uh, here we are. All right, so let's start with the pain. Initially, many people might be thinking five minutes, you know, five minutes is, is nothing. I can, I can handle anything for five minutes. Um, but if hearing horror stories of people freaking the absolute fuck out on salvia and other hallucinogens has, has taught me anything, it is that your concept of time ceases entirely. And if we're talking about, you know, the worst suffering that a person can experience, we're not just going to limit it to physical pain, obviously. So with time out the window, your five minutes might as well be innumerable lifetimes. And if you think for a second that the pain will cease once the five minutes are up, you are sorely mistaken. The trauma will eat away at you relentlessly. So you are all but guaranteed to take your own life once these five minutes are finally up. And this is assuming that you were in some sort of vegetative state during the five minutes themselves. And if not, it's hard to imagine you not bashing your skull in during the first minute or so. You know, but hey, what about the whole highest euphoric bliss that you've been promised? I mean, surely this will make up for the hell that you've experienced, right? Well, no, of course not. But even setting aside the five minutes of hell, the five minutes of the highest pleasure alone will be sure to rob you of, of any chance of ever being content again. Think of the way a drug addict comes down from an insanely powerful high and multiply it significantly. And just as addicts describe sobriety, many of them, um, you'll be like a hollow shell of your, your former self. You know, sex, tasty foods, exercise, you will no longer feel any motivation to chase after these things because they will no longer be able to bring you any amount of pleasure. Your brain will be completely broken. You will spend your entire life chasing after the high and you will never even come close. Add the five minutes of unimaginable suffering back into the mix, and you are guaranteed to commit suicide. So yeah, if Satan himself comes to you with this proposal, I would recommend respectfully turning him down. 